I'm Archie Luxury coming to you live from the streets of Bangkok, Thailand. Today we're looking at my good friend Leo's watch collection. And uh, I said to him, hey, what watch do you normally wear every day? What's your beta? And uh, anyhow, he lifts up his sleeve and he's wearing a solid gold Rolex Daytona. That's right. It's uh, a 16528. Solid gold, 18 karat yellow gold, and uh, it's got the, the diamond dial. And uh, he, uh, he told me, the, uh, as, as it's well known within Rolex circles, the Zenith Movement Daytona seems to be a lot more collectible and more desirable than the Rolex in-house movement Daytona. And uh, i got to say, either way, I think they're a stunning piece. And uh, this is a solid gold Rolex Daytona. And uh, it just trumps anything. And uh, whether you're going to a bordello or you're going to a, uh, a red carpet event, you can wear this watch on your wrist and be proud of the fact that uh, you got a beautiful timepiece on your wrist. And uh, i got to hand it to him. It's a beautiful piece. It's stylish. It's classic. It's elegant. It's everything that you could imagine. It's got the weight of gold with it. It's just an absolutely beautiful piece. And uh, I can understand why the Daytona is so popular. And uh, if you see it in solid gold, it's just amazing. I mean, why would you want to steal one after you've held a solid 18 karat yellow gold piece? It's just a stunner. And uh, i got to hand it to her. This Leo's a man of class. And uh, he's got some great pieces. And this... Uh, this solid gold Daytona is probably one of the ultimate fuck-off watches. I'm Archie Luxury, reporting to you live from the streets of Bangkok, Thailand.